All right, everybody. We're going to be going to a new liquor store today. It's going to be Liquor Warehouse. I got permission to go over there and film. This is where I picked up that bottle of Russell's 13. This is where they're going to be located. This is the address. 256 CR uh, County Road 44 in Eustis, Florida. Uh, and this is the name, Liquor Warehouse. Highly recommend going there. Uh, also, we had an amazing encounter with the owner there, uh, Mr. Patel. I want to thank you very much for permitting me to come back there. I really appreciate everything, and I really appreciate your hospitality. You and your team there are phenomenal. All right, without any further ado, here we go. Hey, there we go. For dinner tonight, we're going to have some bourbon with some smoked bacon wrapped spinach raviolis. Got some pork ribs with a Costco recipe uh, dry rub on there. We're also going to have some potatoes with some uh, roasted potatoes with some onions. And we got these Brussels sprouts smoking here with some onions and some prime rib seasoning. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait. Smoke food and bourbons always go together. Hello everybody, how you doing today? This is the Exotic Bourbon Hunter coming to you from Liquor Warehouse. Going to be uh, located over here in Eustis, uh, right by the Lake County Fairgrounds. They will be having their fair over here, I believe it starts April 6th, so one month. If you're coming to the Lake County Fairgrounds, stop by Liquor Warehouse. They have amazing deals. If they have allocations, they literally put it right out in their glass shelf. Just a few days ago, I was able to pick up a bottle of Russell's 13 Reserve uh, coming in at $229 uh, beans, okay? You guys saw this in my Cool Beans Award. I will also be choosing uh, the Cool Beans Award and be uh, giving that Cool Beans Award to the uh, one bottle of bourbon that actually received the most votes in the comments. So everybody, without any further ado, we're about to jump into Liquor Warehouse here where true dreams may come true. Forget about it. Here at Liquor Warehouse, they're open. Uh, here's their hours of operation when you come here to go to the Lake County Fairgrounds. Okay, as you walk into the liquor warehouse, you are inundated with amazing store picks. All right, I'm going to tell you this. When you come here, they have new store picks almost every time I've come here. These store picks are something to write home about. I mean, I'm about to show you something which I have not been able to find here yet in the state of Florida. I really think you're going to be wooed and wowed by the amazing choices, especially their store picks over here at Liquor Warehouse. Now, a few of their store picks are going to have here. They got their Old Elk coming in at 80 beans. They got their Wilderness Trail coming in at 63 beans. They got some Whistling Pig single barrel 10 year here. They got some of their uh, 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 some of their tequila over here. But uh, you're about to see, like I said, that one hidden gem here. The one gem here that is going to be amazing, okay? And this is going to be the only place I've been able to find this particular bourbon, which is a store pick. Now this Yellowstone over here is their own store pick. I'm picking up a bottle myself as we speak. This bottle's coming home with me. It comes in at 119 ABV or proof. I have not found a Yellowstone store pick that comes in at 119 proof since I've been doing this channel. And they exist. I just found out. Look at this. They really do exist. Come over here to Wicker Warehouse. Pick up some of this Yellowstone. It comes in at 65 beans, all right? This is a beautiful store pick. You also have their Azra Brooks Cash Strength coming in at 53 beans. Their Bullet Bourbon Single Barrel coming in at 63 beans. You also have their Knob, P uh, Knob Creek Single Barrel coming in at 62 beans, okay? Now, for the rest of the goodies here, including what's in the glass showcase. They have an amazing treat for you in the glass showcase. That's if I don't buy it myself. 
also, after you've finished looking at their store picks, as you mosey on through over here to their bourbon section, they have some Sazerac rye hanging out over here, some Buffalo Trace. Everyone says it's hard to find Buffalo Trace. Wherever I go here in Central Florida, it seems to flow like water. And then once again, they have an abundance of the new Traveler's Whiskey with Chris Stapleton. And they also have some Woodford Reserve. And this is their own store pick over here. All right, guys. Next stop. All right, we're going to start over here. We have the Oak and Eden over here. We have the Old Charter coming in at 32 beans and some Sagamore Spirit Rye. We got our Dickel. Dickel Bonded. And that's going to be 40 beans into some... Uh, big stick over here coming in at 77 beans and then we're going to continue on the bottom here all i have to say is don't get old because your back doesn't get any better as you get old we got some ancient age coming in here at uh just uh 13, 14 beans ancient age is great for some old fashions um then we're going to continue to come over here into some uh early times Early times, we're then going to go into our Redneck Riviera. Never had Redneck Riviera. Hey, in the comments, let me know if that's something I should try. For, you know, 21 to 40 beans, depending on which one you get. You can't go wrong with that. But remember, today, I am buying that Yellowstone. That Yellowstone is something I've really been searching for. We're going to continue over here into our high, 10 high. And then into our Old Crow and our Rebel 100. We have our Old Forester into our Henry McKenna. Then we have our Kentucky Gentleman here. You too, darling. And then from there, we're going to go to our Wolf Moon. We have our Mellow Corn. And then we go into our Old Granddad Bonded. Now we go up to the next one here. And we have our Jim Dean Vanilla and the Red Stag. Going into some uh, Southern Comfort here. Ah oh, man, Southern Comfort, the good old days when I was a kid. That Southern Comfort 100 was one of the first uh, liquors I started to drink when I was a kid. Man, the memories. We all have those memories. Memories. We had our old granddad 114. I've had a lot of people tell me I need to pick this up. Uh, and then also we're going to go over here into our Nelson Brothers. And that's going to be the rye. Coming in at 36 beans. Then we're going to go to our Kentucky 10. Our Old St. Pete and some Larceny. We go into our Flavored Jack Daniels, both the Apple and the Fire. And then we have our Redwood Empire. Now they do have a little bit of a treat in their glass case when it comes to the Redwood Empire. I'll let you guys see that here more towards the end. Now, Benchmark. I rant and rave about Benchmark every time I see it. If you're a beginner, you should try some Benchmark. Okay? This is one way to enter into the bourbon game. The foolproof, the single barrel, and the bonded are my three favorite bottles of Benchmark. The very first time I started hunting for bourbon is when I started to really, really uh, find out about this Benchmark product. It is a Buffalo Trace product. And I tell you this, it is phenomenal. And look at that. You just can't go wrong with those prices. Then we're going to go into our Uncle Nearest here. We have our Blackened and to the Wise Man and the Four Roses. Four Roses is another one. You see this single barrel right here? If you're brand new to this bourbon game and hunting, give this Four Roses single barrel a try. You will not regret it, all right? Now below that, we got our High West products. We have our Double Rye. We got our Iron Smoke over here. Onto the Redemption and some Seagrams. And then we're gonna go back up here to our Walkers and the Templeton Rye and to the American Honey. Now, here's some uh, Wild Turkey 101 and some 101 Rye coming in at 27 beans. We got the big boy bottle of Wild Turkey here coming in at 40, be uh, well, excuse me, 38 beans. Now, 
we're gonna go back up top here and we're gonna get into some more good stuff here. So this wild turkey, single barrel for 70 beans, this is a good, good juice in here. And same thing with this barrel proof. I really enjoy these wild turkey uh, rare breed and the rare breed barrel proof. These are phenomenal scores. If you can pick these up, go for it. If you don't want to spend $100, $200, $300 on a bottle of bourbon, I highly recommend you get either the rare breed or the rare breed barrel proof. And then another one next to them is a Russell's products. This Russell's 10 is a 10 year bourbon for 43 beans. Once again, if you're a beginner in this, you got to give this a try. This is delicious. Even their single barrels delicious. And also their uh, Russell's Reserve is also delicious. This is going to be, I believe it's their uh, rye. Yep, that's their rye. From there, we go into our Yellowstone and into our Woodford Reserve. We do have the Woodford Reserve uh, Master's Keep here, the Sonoma Triple, coming in at 160 beans and the Woodford Double Oak. The Woodford Double Oak is also another superstar. It is delicious, it is phenomenal, and if you're getting into this game, it's not something that's gonna break your piggy bank. And trust me, that can happen very fast. Now we go into our chicken cock, into our mictors. I have a very special mictor surprise here coming up in the glass case. That's if I don't pick it up myself. Now we have the Thomas Moore into the Heaven's Door here. Heaven's Door is coming in at uh, 65 beans. And we also have our Heaven's Door Ascension and to the Gentleman's Jack. They do have our McKenna Tenure here coming in 80 beans. And then we go into our Smoke Wagon products here. They have the rye, they have the Smoke Wagon uncut, unfiltered, and that's coming in at 85 beans. From there, we go into our Basil Hayden. Um, this is more like Jim Beam's uh, premier product. This is their top of the line uh, product that Jim Beam produces. And then I had some of this Noble Oak Double Oak Rye last week. It is delicious. Once again, just 40 beans and you cannot go wrong with this. You can get started with this and you can have an um, amazing time sipping delicious bourbon and it doesn't necessarily break the bank account. Now, we go into our Bullet Single Malt. We have their Bullet Single Barrel. This is their store pick right here. Come and get it. And then we have our Bullet Rye. Now, from there, we go into our Rabbit Hole. Now, I've heard a lot of rumors about this particular Rabbit Hole, which is going to be the uh, Derringer finished in a sherry cast. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I've been hearing a lot of amazing things. If you have had that rabbit hole, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Is it worth the money that I spend on it? And then we go into our Stranahan's. The Stranahan's here, I have had some store picks and they've been delicious, but you can't go wrong and get a little uh, thimble on top here to do some shooters. Now we go into our Knob Creek products. They have the... Uh, their regular single barrel store pick here that goes into the smoked maple and then we go into their Elijah Craig they do have the barrel proof here and that comes into the hundred beans and then we have our makers mark I still have struck out each and every hunt that I've made I still have not found a makers mark super dunk one of these days one of these days now we're gonna go back up top here and we're going to have our Maker's Mark French Oak into the Maker's Mark Cast Strength. And then we have our Ben Holiday. Ben Holiday is going to probably be next on my list to purchase. I have not had one. I've heard phenomenal things about the Ben Holiday product. And uh, I can't wait to give this a try myself. From there, we go into the Short Barrel Rye. And then we have our Elijah Craig Costa Barrel. And then we're going to go into our Noah Mills coming in at 70 beans. We have our Angel's Envy, both the rye and the uh, finished import wine barrel, uh, Angel's Envy. The rye is coming in at 100 beans. We have our Travelers, which just came out. This is a uh, Buffalo Trace collaboration series uh, with Mr. Stapleton. And then we have our Penelope products. Now, the Penelope here... They have 
one that I've never seen, which is the Valencia. The Valencia is coming in at 100 beans. Uh, I've never had this Valencia. If this is one you've had also, do me a favor. Shoot a, a comment in there. Let me know what you think of it, all right? Now we have our Heaven's Hill into the Old Elk. We have the four grain and the cigar cut. The cigar cut is coming in at 150 beans. And then they have their uh, limited edition gift set. Uh, this is going to be their uh, Old Elk gift set. And then we're going to come into the Jefferson's Ocean here. They also have the Jefferson's uh, Double Rye. And they also have the Twin Oak Custom Barrel and the Reserve. Now we have our Jack Daniels Rye single barrel and single barrel barrel proof that's coming the barrel proof is coming in at 128.8 uh, proof and then we're going to continue to go into the new rift and we also have our star word from there we have our 13 colonies here both the rye and their uh regular bourbon and then we have our remus repeal reserve into our other woodford reserve uh, woodford reserve products here now from there we go into our Balcones, coming in at 80 beans, and then our Horse Soldier products here. Remember, all these Horse Soldier bottles are casted in a steel mold, which was uh, from the World Trade Center. The actual steel from the mold is from the World Trade Center itself. So each one of these bottles is forged in that steel cast. From there we have our Joseph Joseph Magnus and the uh, Marais Hill Club coming in at 135 beans. And then we go into our old Azura. And then we also are going to wind up going into the next tier here. Now we'll see how good my arms are. Go, go, gadget arms. Here we have our old Azura 7 and 2XO. 2XO is coming in at 110 beans. We're going to go in here to the Duke. Duke is coming in at 120 beans. We have our Orphan Barrel coming in at 190 beans. We have some Schoonover coming in at 230 beans. Then we have our Peerless lineup here. We have both the High Rye, the Rye, and then the regular small batch bourbon. They do have the Willet. This is going to be the Green Top coming in at 90 beans. First time I'm kind of seeing this in a while except for Costco. And then we have our New Lou. We have our Nulu Toasted, French Oak, and Reserve. There we go. And then we go into our Bardstown. Now Bardstown, uh, we got this particular, the Ferran, which is going to be coming in at 170 beans. We have the Discovery Series at 160 beans. Fusion Series for 70 beans. And then uh, we've got our uh, St. Augustine Distillery here. We have the Saint Bourbon coming in at 200 beans. And we go into our Four Gates. Four Gates I'm starting to find more and more now. I have never had the chance to try a Four Gate. One day I will. But for the price right now, I just can't buy that. Uh, we got into our Calumet 16, 10, Calumet 8, and then Small Batch into our Kentucky Owl. They have the St. Patrick's Day edition here coming in at 125 beans and the Japanese edition coming in at 155 beans. They also have, uh, which batch is this? Batch 10 of Kentucky Owl. That's coming in at 300 beans. We go into our Burrell products, including the Seagrass, into the Fox and Odin. And we're gonna go into the Blue Run into the Garrison Brothers. Garrison Brothers do have a true hazmat bottle. It comes in over 140 proof. I don't see it right here. It may be in their case. And remember, this honeydew was a project that the uh, founder put together. And he wanted to produce a bourbon that was sweet for his wife. So he infused ho honey into it. And that wound up being his honey to-do list after he completed it. Because his honey slash his wife was begging him for that. Now, I'm going to graduate to the glass store case and show you all the money picks. All right. Now, there's no prices here, so if you're interested in something, you're going to have to ask them. 
but this is all their uh, allocations. They're stored in their glass case here. Like I said, I did buy that bottle of uh, Russell's 13 over here, Reserve. Now we also have some Heaven's Door here, some 10 year. We have some Homesick Blues, Cash Strength. We have their uh, Castle and Curse here. We're gonna go over here. They have some Jefferson's Ocean into the uh, Woodford Reserve Masters Collection and the Frank Sinatra. Then we're gonna go up to, this is a, their Duce. That's gonna be a Cognac. We have some Scotch here. We have the Macallan 25 and the Macallan 30. We have the Bruschetta Bourbon here. And then we have some Jimmy Red. We have an OKI Reserve in the back there. We also have some Kentucky Vintage. And we have uh, this Yellowstone. This is gonna be uh, their 2023 limited release. Here's the Garrison Brothers. Uh, <coughs> barrel proof. We have our Remus Repeal Reserve here. And they also have the Gatsby here. And then this is the Redwood Empire I was talking about. That's the Rocket Top. Now, on top of that, we have our very old St. Nick. And then this is the Michters I was talking about. I think they're asking 150 beans for this Michters. It's their uh, barrel strength, and it's going to be their uh, straight rye whiskey. I have not seen this before. And then the other one is this Old Man White. Now, I had someone just ask me about this about a week ago. I hope you're watching this video I did let you know that they did have this here, so come and get it. From there, we have our Peerless Double Oak into the Clyde Maze. We do have some Knob Creek 12 here into the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. We have the Widow Jane Decadence and also the Widow Jane The Vault. Now that's going to be a 14 year. We got our uh, Cooper's Craft into some Dickel 17. And we also have some Dickel Bourbon Whiskey aged 18 years. Then up here, we got the really good stuff, including some Woodford Reserve Baccarat, some King Louie, and etc. All right, everybody. I want to thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of the Exotic Bourbon Hunter. Everybody, it was an absolute pleasure to show you what uh, Hidden Gems Liquor Warehouse over here in Eustis has. Forget about it. Take it easy, and from this time to next time to maybe tomorrow. Bada bing, bada boom. Ayo!